I plan to celebrate and pop champagne. Everybody wants to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. Footprints on the moon, I'm way too up. There's no way you can touch me. Good morning, Michael Lapinia here from J Promotions, coming from Minster's Golden Gloves Gym in Sheppey. I'm currently here with Ollie Edwards. Ollie, how are you this morning? I'm great, I'm great, you know, I've just done some hard sparring. I'm ticking over at the moment, so I've only done four threes, but I'm feeling good, I'm feeling fit. That's brilliant to hear. We've just been watching you training, you look very ferocious. Is that the mentality you take into every fight, so you want to knock someone out? I see, when I, when I go into the fight, like, they're coming here to challenge me, like, they're coming here to challenge me. So, I'm not going to be, like, no pushover for them, I'm going to show them what I've got, you know. Like, they're coming here to challenge me, so I'm going to show them what I've got. And, um, yeah, I've been working hard. Me and my trainer have been working on special moves and it's working well and sparring, so I can't complain. Excellent. So when someone comes to fight you, they're in your home, they're in your back garden? Yeah, pretty much. Like, when someone comes to fight me, I'm ready. I, like, I adapt to different styles, so if they've got a new style, I know what to do. You know, I don't just like, stick at one style. I change it around to confuse them and to obviously like, just change my game plan a bit. You know? So adaptability is a massive part of your game. Well, Oli boasts a really impressive 3-0 professional record. Um, going into that, has that changed your mentality since you started fighting and started winning professional fights? You know what, Mike? Like, I'm 3-0 at the moment. I'm young. I'm only 21. So I don't have to rush things. Unfortunately, I had an elbow injury. So um, that pushed me back because I was doing really well. I was getting my profile up. And then, boom, like every athlete knows once you get an injury, it's back to square one. So I'm back to square one and I'm working my way up and um, yeah, expect big things coming from me. So. Well, while we're on the subject, can you give us a, just a little bit of information about the injury? What happened, what occurred and what rehabilitation you've gone through? Do you know what, mate? Basically, what it was, like, I spoke to my mate, Kevin Mitchell, and he, he had the same injury as me. Um, what's it called? Tendon. Basically, yeah, it's, I basically I've damaged my tendon in my elbow. It's wear and tear on the elbow. Yeah. Like, like every boxer knows, once you miss like a pad, like a pad, pad or sparring, you joint, you like, you knock your elbow, okay. and that puts wear and tear on the tendon. And unfortunately, I'm just unlucky, and I've damaged it. But obviously, I'm getting back on track again. I've been doing rehab. I've got a great team, uh, like my physiotherapist, and they're looking after me, so I can't complain. That's brilliant to hear. Obviously, we've been watching you sparring this morning, and you look very good. You've got two fights coming up: one on the 29th of October, one on the 3rd of December in, I believe it is Sheppey. It was in Sheerness. Yeah, Sheerness, my hometown. Basically, I've got a fight on the 29th of October at Moat Park in Maystone. So it's still nice and local. So I expect to see my team Edwards Army come and support me. And then, of course, I've got a show in my hometown, the Isle of Sheppey, which is going to be a great. Like, I'm going to be headlining the bill. So um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be like. The atmosphere is going to be crazy. It's going to be like a mini auto arena watch. So you're going to be one bringing the thunder? I'm going to be one bringing the thunder indeed, 100%. Well, Oli, thank you so much for talking to us today. Before we leave, is there anyone you'd like to thank in particular? No worries, mate. Yeah, I'd like to thank my, um, my team, Phil Jeffries, Jade, and my dad for doing my strength and conditioning and physiotherapy. Also, my coaches, Ray Askew and Sam Latham for doing the pad work with me and getting fit for my flight. And I'd like to thank my sponsors, ILK Security, S. Charlton Builders, Tiger Loans, Bedrock Gym and Cosgrove Leisure for supporting me and allowing me to do the sport that I want to do and like love. And also I want to thank Joe for getting me all the fights and I want to thank all my family for supporting me and putting up with me, like being like stressy and everything like that, you know. So thank you guys. I'm sure that's very understandable. Thanks a lot. Take care. Footprints on the moon, I'm way too up. There's no way you can touch